Previously on the Bible, human failings led to the Great Flood. Wrong choices, wrong decisions. After Noah, a new beginning and a promise for Abraham. God has spoken to me. He will lead us to a new home. He has promised descendants as numerous as the stars. To help the Israelites fulfill the promise, God sent Moses to free them from slavery. Lord! Joshua led them into the promised land. Jericho is ours! But the Israelites faced brutal opposition from the Philistines. Some dared to fight back. Not even Samson could overcome them. There is no the prophet Samuel led the Israelites in God's name. But the people wanted more. Someone to lead them in battle. What do you want? A king. A king? They become tyrants. Not if they are chosen by God. Saul, I anoint you the first king of Israel. May I, as God's prophet, help you in any way I can. But is any man good enough to rule God's kingdom? Are the men ready? They're ready. Where is Samuel? He should be here. We must make a sacrifice before we attack. We cannot wait any longer. Troll! May God forgive you! Samuel, where were you? Seven days we have waited. Seven days! My men are deserting. Then be a king. Leave the job of priest to me. Do you think God values your sacrifice more than mine? Samuel. God instructs you. Kill everyone and everything. A new era in Israelite history is beginning. The period of prophets and kings. They must work together to secure the promised land. His commands. And what is this bleating of goats in my ears? What is this lowing of cattle and wailing of lambs? Can the dead cry out? <laughs> and who is this pagan king? He is to be put to death later. When the Lord says spare, you spare. When he says kill, <laughs> Samuel! You are a prophet. I am your king. What the Lord gives, he can take away. Are these God's words or yours? Your descendants could have ruled for over a thousand years. Did 
day. God has forsaken you. More divine words. God has torn your power from you. He wants a man after his own heart. You hear me? Now! Yes, sir. Perhaps I've been hasty. I should ask Samuel's forgiveness. Bring Samuel to me. He's gone, Majesty. Gone? After Saul's disobedience, God commands his prophet Samuel to find a new king. Young man! What is your name? David, sir! My name is David! I anoint you, David of Bethlehem, to be the next king. Father, what's wrong? Tell me what's wrong. Nothing is wrong. It was a great victory. We need rest. That is all. Sleep. Sleep. Lord, forgive your servant. Uh. In time, David becomes an attendant in Saul's court, a king in waiting. The Philistine threat continues to grow. Now they have a new champion, Goliath. Will one of you fight me? Israelites, you win, and the Philistines will be your slaves. I win, and you will be our slaves. Someone must fight him! Not you, Jonathan. The warrior who defeats him will be a rich man. Not one man in Israel. Not one of God's people. I'll do it. You're no soldier, you're a shepherd. Yes, a shepherd. As I protect my sheep, God will protect me. Where is your faith? Where 
is your god! I will kill him! You'll need this. I'll be better without it. Yea, though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. You are with me. The high rod and staff, they comfort me. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Saul's army and battles the Philistines for decades. He becomes a warrior, a leader, a hero. Once again, you are our champion. You have killed. 
killed thousands. Tens of thousands. Of course. Tens of thousands. Our people are very grateful to you. The Lord blessed us all. I would like to reward you. I offer you my daughter, Michal. I'm very honored, Majesty. David, we're brothers now. <laughs> In return, 100 dead Philistines. Hmm? What say you? 100 dead Philistines slain by your own hand. Father, he's risked his life enough, no? What if he doesn't return? I shall return. God willing. like a brother, don't you? I do. As Abel, no doubt, once loved Cain. He wants our crown. Don't you see? No. He's loyal to us both. Nonsense. A few mementos for you. And these. Trophies taken from each of their bodies. From a hundred men? Two hundred. God was with me. Michal. Possess you. If it wasn't for him, we would all be slaves and you would not be king. And with him, you never will be. Your father, the king, wishes to see David. He can't. He's not well. Not well! Not well, you say? Well, well, we shall see. We shall see. Not well. David! Yes. 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 You have helped him escape. You would rather be queen than see your own father king! No! You would betray your own brother! Father! You need to rest! No! Even my own children plot against me! Do 
David! David! Where you go? I shall hunt you down! Your king wishes to speak with you. Come here! Come on! David was here, wasn't he? You sheltered him. This is God's house. We offer shelter to all his people. I said kill him! Kill all of them. Served you faithfully, Lord. As faithfully as a man can, and yet still it seems it is not enough. Majesty. David. Why do you pursue me when I've done you no harm? I could have killed you. Your life was mine to take. Why didn't you take it then? The Lord may revenge the harm you have done to me. But only evil doers do evil deeds, so my hand will not touch you. And God will reward you, and you will be king! You are my king! And when you have my crown, will you not kill my descendants, bury my name? I will not. No! I swear. No? Come then. Come. We'll go home together. He's one of the anointed. It's up to God to decide his destiny. Father! 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 The fist. 
Sight on me. It's in the next valley, Nigel Ball. Jonathan, David is very near. Forget about David. You must defend your kingdom. That is your duty. All right. We must prepare for battle. Tell the men we leave for Gilmore. Tell them we leave at dawn.
We wait till nightfall. Here. city, a new center of power for the Israelites, and a home for the ultimate symbol of their bond with God. The Ark of the Covenant! It's far too pretty for you, my friend. You're right. <laughs> Majesty. Come. You don't mind, you're right. I mind. <laughs>
God is truly with me. Your Majesty. Ah, oh, Prophet. Look, my temple for the Ark, for the Lord. The world's never seen anything like it. The Lord came to me last night. He's pleased with our work. The Lord told me the house of David will rule Israel forever. We are blessed. Your son will be king. Your son will build the temple. My temple. God's temple. God's temple. A kingdom forever. Thank you, Nathan. Your Majesty, as you requested. Leave us. Bathsheba. Majesty. David. Is there news of my husband? No. No, nothing like that. He's safe enough, I believe, although he is far away. Fighting the enemy. But you didn't go. No need. Not with men like Uriah to do it for me. I am loyal to my husband. about your king. This is wrong. Bathsheba becomes pregnant. God's chosen king breaks his commandments. Uriah, my friend. Welcome. You sent for me, Majesty. How's the war going? Well, very well. And your commander, Joab, all is well with him? All is well. Your fellow soldiers. They fight well. Excellent. Well, you can give me a fuller report in the morning. I'm sure for now you'd rather be with your wife. <sighs> I cannot stay with my wife. Of course you can. While my men are camped in open country, fighting the enemy, this is a holy war. How could I go to my home and spend the night with my wife? That does you credit, Uriah. But man to man, who's to know? I will know. Good man. I'd like to drink. Wine!
David cannot force Uriah to sleep with Bathsheba. So he finds another way to conceal his adultery. Commander Joab, I order you to send Uriah to where the fighting is fiercest and abandon him there to die. blessed you think you can just sweep what you've done under the carpet you took everything from your most loyal servant Uriah he deserved your respect I did respect him really you took his wife then you took his life prophet you think God doesn't see everything the Lord has spoken to me he will bring disaster on your house for the con Tempt you have shown the Lord. No. No. He will take your son. We shall see. Tell me what to do. First my husband, now my son. We are cursed. But I was anointed. God blessed me. A king is never above his God. You were supposed to rule in his name, not your own. We're finished. Everyone will see that God has left us. <laughs> Prophet. Even though you are weak, he loves you, David. You have forged God's nation on earth. Take comfort in each other. You will have another son. Careful, Solomon. Let him play. It's the house of the Lord. One day he'll have to build it. <laughs> Solomon will build God's temple. But like his father, he'll find it impossible to obey God's commandments. <laughs> Next time on The Bible. God is bringing disaster! Will you not speak for us in our hour of need? Look out there. You're too late. It begins. Submit to King Nebuchadnezzar! Bow your head! of
Jerusalem! Help yourself! This way, Daniel! Will we ever return to Jerusalem? Jeremiah promised that one day we would. In the meantime, what do we do? Just bow our heads and serve this monster? I will make them bow. Bring me fire! Lord, save me! Cyrus will set us free if the prophecy is right. I cannot go back on my word. I promised them freedom to worship. It is merely a test of their loyalty. It's a trap for all of us. They want us dead. There is one to come who will baptize with fire. I am just a voice in the wilderness preparing the way for the... Lord, what are we going to do? Change the world. <laughs>